All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It is time for my final review or and final thoughts on the Rosecraft Blades Nola Chucky Jack. Uh, that is the name. Come on, you can focus. There we go. Uh, Nola Chucky Jack. This was sent to me by Rosecraft Blades. Guys, this is the Knives Fast channel. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and... I want to thank each and every one of you for being here on the Knives Fast channel. Um, and yeah, just stick around. Now, uh, as you guys know, I'm now an affiliate with Rosecraft Blades, so that means he's going to send me knives, and that is cool. Um, and you, you know, you'll probably see uh, quite a few of them being given away uh, from time to time, which is really, really cool. Um, and this one, we are here uh, to review for you. This is a really, really cool uh, knife, guys. I would say this is, uh, you know, one of the better, uh, probably the best slip joint I've seen in a long time in the price range it's in. Now, some of you are saying you're watching this and you're like, well, they're not even available. You are correct. These sold out immediately, like within a few days. So I'm going to talk about this knife. It's not currently available, but I'm telling you, uh, they're going to be coming back. So what I would tell you is to go over to Rosecraft and put in your email address and click notify me. Okay, guys? So um, if you do that, you're going to find out. Also, I noticed over on Knife Center, uh, they've got a pre-order going for these. Um, so you can go put, I think, a, a down payment down and uh, these will be coming. Now, this is a slip joint knife. Right off the bat, some of you are going to tell me you don't like slip joints, and that's fine. Um, I'm at the point that I absolutely love slip joints. We are going to compare this with some other uh, Rosecraft knives that I have on hand right now, just in a few minutes here. But the first thing you notice about this is we have contoured covers here that are in this, what they're calling vintage moss brown bone. So it's brown bone, but it's got this green mossy uh, look to it. You do have nickel silver pins, uh, bolsters, uh, I've been painting, so I've got uh, paint on my finger there. Uh, bolsters, you do have a single flute on your bolster. Um, nickel, silver, rose, bud, uh, shield there. Just a beautiful, beautiful knife uh, overall. I love this knife. It is super duper cool. Now, um, again, I just think the star of the show is that bone. The graining, the depth of the graining is really cool. Uh, you do have um, a long pull here and a swedge, so it's not super pinchable. Uh, but it is very easy to just get in there, come to halfway, then pinch open. Uh, same thing on the way down. It's easy. Now, I would say this is like a five and a half to six. It's probably more like a six on average, I would say, uh, on the pull. Let me let you hear the walk and talk with me being quiet. Very nice. Uh, very, very nice. Now, these are in D2 steel. Um, and you can see we have what I call a fat spear point. I love the spear point with this narrow. And then it fattens out at the end. Has a swedge. I mean, I just think that is crazy. Now, this is... Uh, made after an IXL pattern, which is a very old standard jackknife pattern. You have a kind of a bulbous end here um, with the narrow. So what happens is you kind of get locked down towards that blade. You have a very good four-finger grip here with a little room left over. Again, slip joints, so don't push on that a lot. Uh, you know, but it's not going anywhere that easily. Uh, here's a, oops, here's our friend, a piece of cardboard just to show you how well this guy cuts, guys. That's the thing. The Rosecraft knives I've experienced so far aren't just, you know, toys. Andy says, uh, Andy wants you guys to use the knives. He's saying, you know, and I agree with him, uh, slip joint knives are capable. They're not just a cute looking knife. Uh, they are actually very capable, and I agree with that. You end up with a very nice, slicey edge on this guy. You have gorgeous fit and finish. Now, let's talk about that. You have a beautiful back spring here, and your transition between the blade and the back spring is done 
Oh, man, I mean, just perfectly. Look at that. It is so good. Uh, no gapping, no issues. Somebody tell Case to take notes. N look at the cleanliness down inside. I love, that's one of the things I've talked about, about other more budget-friendly slip joint knives. You get them, and there's gunk all down in there and everything. Clean the knife out. And so I think, you know, Andy is being real picky with these. Uh, he's got his manufacturer doing them the way he wants them to be done. And the other thing is, guys, he's not going to let junk through. What I like about Rosecraft is uh, the fit and finish has been fantastic, especially when you consider the price. Now, what is the price of these? These are $62. And again, guys, when they come back in stock at Rosecraft Blades, you can use code KNIVESFAST for 10% off. Or you can go over to traditionalpocketknives.com and get 10% off with code KNIVESFAST. 10. So either one of those, uh, you you have a deal on this knife. It is fantastic. Again, out of stock now. They are a three inch blade, D2 spear point, four inches close, seven inches overall, and just over, right at three ounces. Uh, now it is the No Lid Chucky Jack. It is named after a river um, in, uh, uh, the, 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 Ohio, no, not Ohio, Tennessee. Good grief. Uh, it's named after a river in Tennessee. All right. Time for some comparisons. So normal comparisons. We have our friend, uh, the lovely, uh, Ontario rat one and the two, you see, it's, uh, a lot smaller than the rat one and a little, no, it's about the same length as the rat two, I would say. Okay. Um, and then some other cool comparisons, um, and they will be Rosecrafts. So we have uh, one of my favorite Rosecrafts that I bought. This is the uh, awesome Savage Creek Gunstock. Um, and then this is the Briar Patch Jack. Uh, you can see it's roughly the same length as the Briar Patch Jack with one blade open. Um, Briar Patch does have two blades. These are available. Uh, as far as I know, I believe they are. And you can use code KNIVESFAST over at Rosecraft to get one and get 10% off or at traditional pocket knives, use code KNIVESFAST10 and get 10% off. So that is super awesome. Now, by the way, I forgot to mention, um, this is a very sturdy uh, pocket knife. This is one your grandfather, your dad, and now you uh, would be very happy to carry. This is, uh, when it is closed, there's no wiggle, no wobble. Uh, you, I mean, they're just done amazingly well. Um, I am extremely impressed with uh, what I've seen from Rosecraft, especially the traditionals. Um, you know, I'm really into the traditionals. And like I said, this Savage Creek is an absolute favorite with me. This one is definitely sticking around. So guys, uh, let me know what you think down below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And thanks to Andy over there at Rosecraft. Uh, I feel honored uh, to be among some of the great channels that are representing um, not representing, but our, our, our um, affiliates with, wow, that's the right word. I am not representing. I am affiliated with Rosecraft Blades, whatever it is. I enjoy getting the knives into review and I appreciate Andy. Um, and again, love the fact that he gives you guys a discount code. So like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And thanks guys for watching the Knives Fast channel.